Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and today I'm excited to show you one of our only Wranglers on the lot right now because they are just selling as fast as we get them in. But um, we just got this one in yesterday and it's not sold yet, so I was able to get a video. This is a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. It's in Sting Gray Clear Coat, which the paint code is PDN, if you were curious. It's one of the hottest colors on the Wranglers that we've had for the past couple years now. And uh, this particular Wrangler is powered by the 3 liter V6 uh, diesel, which pumps out 260 horsepower. It's going to get you 442 foot-pounds of torque. And it's going to get you 26 miles per gallon on the highway. 21 city for a combined total of 23 miles per gallon on this full four-door Wrangler. Uh, it is the Rubicon package. It has the LED lighting group, the metal grills, or I'm sorry, the metal bumpers on here as well, the metal bumper group, has the color match fenders, the hard top is an option, has the nav 8.4 and premium audio group. And uh, we're just going to walk around it here. We're going to get up close and personal, check out all the options on it. But just a really good looking Wrangler um, all the way around. I like the Eco Diesel logo on the back. And it does have the trailer tow group on it. So you get the four pin, seven pin wiring as well as the receiver hitch. Let's go check out the rims and tires. The Rubicon comes with the painted and polished aluminum rims. You get the little red uh, Jeep logo on there, and it has Falcon Wild Peak MT tires, so a mud terrain tire. And these are LT28570 R17s. On all the Wranglers, you get four wheel disc brakes. You can see the tread pattern on those tires right there, and um, pretty aggressive tread pattern, which you would expect on a mud terrain tire. Now the LED lighting group, you get the LED running lights in the fenders. You also get the LED headlamps as well as the LED halo ring around those headlamps. You also get the LED fog lamps down here as well. Now the metal bumper, it's a solid metal all the way across here. Now you can take these side pieces off, that's why they have all the bolts on there. You can take those off so that you get better clearance with your tires when you're going off-road and doing the extreme off-roading. You get the um, air ducts which pull the heat out of the engine bay. Air extractors, I should say. You get the Rubicon lettering on the hood. You also get the rock rails on here which help keep your body on your Wrangler looking good. If you go over any rocks that might damage it, it's gonna damage the rail and not your actual body of the vehicle. Can take all these doors off. We'll take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause it at any point. So this is a 2021 Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 4x4 with a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel, 8 speed automatic transmission. This one has um, everything on the left there is your standard equipment. Feel free to pause this. Like I said, Stingray clear coat is 245 The leather trim bucket seats are $15.95. This one has cold weather group which gives you the remote start, heated seats, um, and heated steering wheel. The trailer tow and heavy duty electrical group is $7.95. Gives you the auxiliary switches on the dash, which we'll check out. Um, 240 amp alternator, 700 amp maintenance free battery, the receiver hitch, and the 4 and 7 pin wiring. LED lighting group gives you the LED tail lamps um, in addition to all those LED lights in front, and that's $12.95. The 8.4 radio and premium audio group is $18.95. You get a lot with that group. You get the nav. Uh, system with the 8.4. You also get the five-year Sirius XM traveling service, uh, Sirius Guardian for a year, Sirius Traffic Plus for five years, and you get a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, and then you also, of course, get the navigation for the duration that you own the vehicle. The safety group gives you the park sense and rear park assist system, as well as the blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. Has the steel bumper group, which is 1645. The 8-speed automatic transmission is $1,500. The turbo diesel is a $4,500 
upgrade and then with that you get the 18.3 fuel tank uh, gallon fuel tank it has the black three-piece hardtop which is $13.95 and then the color match fender flares are $6.95 total MSRP on this one $61.160 and if you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website to get all the rebates and incentives on this particular Wrangler through your 36 bumper to bumper and the other thing that you get with the diesel over the gas is that you get the five-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty now this if this was a gas motor you'd only get five years 60,000 mile powertrain so you're getting an extra 40,000 miles of powertrain limited warranty so if you put on a lot of miles that's a nice coverage to have um, over the gas and it might be worth it just for that extra warranty on there so there are your miles per gallon 21 city 26 highway and 23 average and front crash test ratings are four star rollovers three star it's not rated for the rest uh, we're going to get into the interior on this vehicle in just a little bit i just wanted to point out that it has this like mineral gray almost gold bronze finish to the dash now sometimes they have the red dash on them now this is an example of one that does not have that red dash it has that mineral gray and that's that's the other color that the rubicons come in so really a good look on that particular dash the other thing i like when you get the color matched fender flares is you get the 3m rock guard on there which keeps your uh, fenders looking good from rocks hitting up and it's not going to damage your paint so it's nice that jeep is thinking of the consumer and your investment in their product so that's always going to be nice um, as long as you own it adding to the resale value and just overall value of the vehicle there are those backup parking sensors you get led um, license plate lights and then the red tow hook and back we'll take a quick look at the back seats also note those led tail lamps we're going to do a walk around at the end of the video with all the lights on so stick around for that here's your subwoofer that comes with the premium audio group you also get storage space under here and i like that they did that the old subwoofers came right in here and you lost all that storage space underneath there um, but now they put them on the side here it doesn't take up too much space on the side because you still have these bars here uh, so you get that and you get the space under here there's your holders for your door hinges roof and windshield bolts your jack tools are underneath there you get the painted bars on here as well those seats fold down this is for your hard top pieces in the front that's a case for them and then you to get these hard tops off there's four bolts on each side um, and then two quick disconnects those quick disconnects store right there which is pretty sweet you got to take the front pieces off first but then you take the back one off and then you lift that off you definitely need um, two people to lift that off that are fairly strong so uh, keep that in mind there's a JL badge you get the two-door four-door wheelbase and overall length water fording and then tells you where it's made um, in Toledo Ohio all the people in Toledo Ohio keep making more we need them make as many as you can and send them our way Summit Auto and Fond du Lac we appreciate it get the T50 on the side of the doors which tells you which Torx wrench to use to get those doors off heated mirrors blind spot monitoring inside this particular Rubicon package gives you the brownish tan leather seats you get the light tan stitching with the Rubicon stitched into the backrest um, you get lumbar on here they do have side airbags on the seats now and that is standard that used to be an option on the JK's auto headlamps tilt telescopic steering wheel power mirrors power locks we'll hop inside so that you can check out the instrument cluster and then the radio and then we'll uh, take a look under the hood this one does have the 7 inch LCD display it does have 517 miles this was a dealer trade to us compass display outside temp display this is also um, you can see this one's getting 23 miles per gallon which is right where it was supposed to be for the uh, average fuel economy so that's a pretty cool um, that it's just like that so uh, 
you got a digital speedometer there as well and you can go through that instrument cluster and uh, there's a million things that you can do on there you get the leather wrap steering wheel now keep in mind this one is heated because of the cold weather group cruise controls on the right bluetooth and information center controls on the left audio controls on the back this one has the 8.4 touchscreen radio it does have the fa factory navigation system on it which is right there you also have um, your media where you have am fm and sirius xm radio capabilities Remember, you get that Sirius Travel Link and traffic service for five years with this vehicle, as well as Sirius Guardian for a year. So that's uh, part of this premium audio and 8.4 group. You got your climate controls. You also have your heated steering wheel, heated seat buttons, and then you have your backup camera here. And the backup cameras on these are phenomenal. They are crystal clear. Those are dynamic grid lines, so as you, you can see as I turn that steering wheel, they turn so you can kind of see where the vehicle is going to go in the future. That center line lines right up with your receiver hitch so you can get hooked up to your boat, camper, trailer the first time, every time, without any problems. Then you have all your different apps here, including your off-road pages, which we'll check those out first. They do take a second to load, but there's always a neat little animation that goes with that, and then a saying. Maybe lost, but never stuck in a Wrangler. So the off-road pages, you have your, it tells you if you're in two high, four high, four low. Um, you also get your latitude, longitude, and your altitude. Doesn't work because we're in the picture studio right now, so it's it doesn't get the satellite. But you can see, um, also has pitch and roll there, which is pretty cool. You have your accessory gauges right there. And uh, you also have your drivetrain, whether you're in two-wheel drive, your steering angle. So as I turn that steering wheel, you can see that that changes as well. It tells you if your sway bar is connected, if your front axle is unlocked or locked, and if the rear axle is unlocked or locked. So a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this particular radio when it comes to that. And then finally, it does have the projection manager where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We actually did a demo with Android Auto. If you'd like to check that out, it's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Um, so after you're done watching the video, Rewind back to that part and you can go check out that video. Um, heated seat buttons, more tactile climate controls you can do down here. You have your start-stop capability, stability control, parking sensors. You can turn those off. That's a crawl control. And then down here is your um, power window button. Now this stuff right here is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. You get your sway bar disconnect, your off-road mode, um, where you can actually go in four-wheel drive low um, a little bit faster than normal you have your rear lockers or front and rear lockers um, and you can select that and so it's just a toggle switch right there this is part of the towing group you get the auxiliary switches right there and then you do get a media center with an AUGS USB and USB-C jack you get the 8-speed automatic transmission you get the little Jeep on the top there you have your keyless entry I do like the new Jeep keys they're heavy-duty they got the switchblade key fob, and it does have remote start on it. Part of that cold weather group says Jeep. It's a big, chunky, heavy keychain, or heavy key fob, I should say. Um, so you always know which key you're grabbing in your pocket if you have multiple keys. And then to get these front hard top pieces off, just a bunch of quick disconnects up here, and then two. Um, latches like that you have your home link buttons for your garage door security system lane systems auto dimming mirror and then you get the assist and sos buttons in the uh ceiling there which uh is part of that serious guardian system i do believe so we'll uh, take a quick look under the hood and then i'm gonna actually i'm gonna start it up right now we get all the lights on and then we'll do a walk around we'll start it up check out under the hood so i'm gonna start it up right now so you can hear it start and then we'll look under the hood All right, we'll take a quick look under the hood. It's actually a really quiet motor for being a diesel. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a diesel, but uh, it is quiet. Everything that you need to take care of is in yellow. You got the washer fluid, power steering fluid. That's, actually, that's your power steering fluid. That's your, that's your brake fluid right there. That's your coolant. The battery's obviously right there. And uh, everything's laid out nicely. The yellow tabs for checking your oil. 
and uh, definitely fits in there nicely. They changed these tabs a little bit for on the, uh, for the snap downs. We'll snap her down back here, and then we'll do one more walk around here, like I promised, uh, with all the lights on. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And uh, hopefully from this HD video, you have gotten a really good idea of the overall looks and styling on this particular Wrangler. I mean, we're really glad we got one in stock. Just kind of one of those times where there's not a lot of new inventory out there. Check out those LED tail lamps to get your LED license plate light. And just, uh, just a really cool Wrangler. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully uh, you can like, subscribe, and share. Click the bell notifications after you subscribe so you get daily updates when we do videos like this. And we're getting a lot of great videos uh, coming your way, including a Jeep Wagoneer that's going to be coming out pretty soon. They're, it's probably on its way here right now, but I'll definitely get a video of that. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. In fact, if you like, you can subscribe to our video in the upper left. You can check out a link to more Wrangler videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Thanks again. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, keep, keep them coming, keeping the views coming. Thanks again.